Derby Day in Edinburgh and the capital comes alive. For these two teams, it's a match that matters so much. We can make an earthquake up in the teams are here, the fans can't wait. The scene is set for the second Edinburgh Derby of the season. Playing for a place in the League Cup semi-finals, it's Hibs against Hearts. Yeah, it could be quite a night in the capital, Hibs against Hearts, live on the BBC. And uh, with me in the studio tonight, two men who have uh, worn the captain's armband in this famous fixture, Michael Stewart and uh, Ian Murray. The match, of course, will be played to a finish, extra time and penalties if required. And uh, we'll have an extra, if the match is settled inside 90 minutes, we'll have an extra half hour of analysis and interviews for you a little bit later on uh, via the BBC website, bbc.co.uk slash Sport Scotland. Uh, we'll have highlights for you of uh, Inverness against Dundee United at half time. That was quite a quarter final uh, played in the Highland capital last night. Lots of controversy surrounding that one. And we'll have news for you in the course of the evening of tonight's other quarter finals as well. Motherwell against Aberdeen at Fir Park. And of course, Morton uh, play St Johnston at Capello. So news of those. Uh, built into our live coverage from here at Easter Road. Let's talk, Ian, uh, about this one then. Hibs have hardly set the heather alight this season. Tonight could make a big difference. Huge game for them, massive game. Billy Brown was in the paper, I think, today, saying the pressure's all on Hibs, and I tend to agree with him. I think it's a real chance Hibs to set down a marker over the rivals tonight. Hearts, young team, a wee bit low in confidence with the results, and Hibs are at home, and you see the backing they're getting tonight. For me, I think it's a home win. I think there's only one outcome. Was that a wily old campaigner like Billy Brown trying to wind things up a little? Uh, maybe a little bit, but I think I think he's right in what he said. He's correct because Hearts are coming here tonight. Their young team have maybe done their bit in getting them here, and getting the extra money for the club, beating Queen of South at home. I think they come here with a free game. Of course they want to win, their fans want them to win. Do they expect to win? I'm not so sure if they do. The odds, Michael, would appear to be stacked against Hearts, but they've won a derby already this season. Yeah, they have. You know, and I, I think it was very much the same sort of uh, scenario leading up to that, where a lot of despondency around about Tynecastle, and I don't think it was expected. Um, and it's the same coming in here to, tonight. Um, <laughs> we're just sitting here beforehand talking about you know how we thought the game was going to go, and I had a feeling that uh, you know this is a, a night that Hibs have got to try and win, but. The more we spoke about it, the more I got that sort of feeling that, you know, possibly Hearts have a chance. I think that's a familiar feeling for a lot of uh, supporters in Edinburgh, one way or the other. If you're a Hibs fan, you're always a little bit apprehensive going into the derby. When you're a Hearts fan, for some reason, there's a lot more expectancy. And as bad as things might well be, I think that, uh, you know, Hearts have got a chance, but it'll be very, very close. That wonderful soundtrack uh, in the background to a massive match at Easter Road, it's the Edinburgh derby. And the winners, and there will be winners tonight, will take their place in the last four of this League Cup competition. Your commentators tonight, Billy Dodds and Liam McLeod. Thank you, Rob. Good evening. More than 300 times these two have crossed swords, but the scars of League Cup battle are few. Incredibly, it's just the fourth time the teams have been drawn together in this competition. Twice in two-legged ties in 47 and 56, both won by Hearts. The latter featured a 6-1 Jambo victory, but the most recent one was in November 2006, and it saw Hibs go through at this stage thanks to a Rob Jones goal. They also happened to go on to lift the trophy that season under John Collins. As the crow flies, there's only about three and a half miles between the clubs, but there are 22 points separating them in the league, with hearts rooted to the bottom of the Premiership, mainly due to their financial penalty for going into administration. They're waiting for positive news on that front in the near future. But right now, they're down to the bare bones. With the high bees still hurting from that game at Hampden Park, not even a year and a half ago. But Paul Heffernan played the final quarter of Kilmarnock's second round loss to Hamilton and is cup tied for Hibs tonight. Tom Tybo is preferred to Owen Tudor Jones, who drops to the bench, with Collins and Vine in for the aforementioned Heverton and Zubier, who's also benched. 
The average age of that Hearts team is 22, but what a boost for them to have Ryan Stevenson available. Despite what looked like another bad injury again on Saturday down at Kilmarnock, he plays Callum Patterson up front, settled the last derby in August at Tynecastle. Youngsters Mackay and Tapping are among the hard subs. The exciting Zubier may be unleashed later for the Highbies. Just two defeats in ten. Pat Fenlon looking on the positives. He's beside Jimmy Nicholl there. Jimmy Nicholl, of course, won this competition at Kilmarnock alongside Kenny Shields. And what a tough task it has been for Gary Locke this season as Hearts manager. The referee's Billy Collum, it's his fifth Edinburgh Derby. The 34-year-old took charge of last season's Scottish Cup final as the High Bees went down 3-0 to Celtic.